You're nothing but a little low-life con artist. <laughs> you knew I was grieving for Asa, and yet you played me. You took advantage of my pain. And you wormed your way into my family. And my heart. <laughs> Were you laughing every time I told you how much you reminded me of Asa? I have all that coming. Oh, you got that. But I never felt... But I never felt anything but gratitude and affection for you, Renee. You are one of the warmest and the wisest women that I have ever met. Oh, please. Compliments from you right now are an insult to my intelligence. Even if I was pretending. Being Asa Buchanan's son was the best part of my life. Well, of course. Big mansion. Big life. No, okay? I, I was thinking more like working side by side with Bo and Clint and, and knowing you. These are... These don't belong to me. But I was proud to wear them. Proud? Have you no shame? Well, if there's anything I can do to start to make this right, make it right, can you bring Nash back? Never mind tanking the company that my father started. Can you bring back my daughter's husband? you some messages since I heard about Nash. Why didn't you call me back? I don't know. I guess, um, you were never a really big fan of his. What the hell with what I thought about Nash. This is about you. You just lost a family member. And a friend. I'm so sorry. You know, I finally found Jared. Boy, it was just right after I met your mother the first time. And he had just started passing himself off as a pecan. But you didn't know that Mom was part of the family, right? No, no. And, I mean, you know, I should have made him give it up right then, but... Uh, I had screwed up his life so much already, and I just didn't want to lose him. And now I guess he's probably going to lose everything. You'll see him through it. We both will. So you're... You're still in? No, <laughs> I'm still in. You know, you got a lot of your mom in you. That fierce loyalty. I tried to give Vicky up once, you know, when I first found out about this whole situation. But I just couldn't do it. Yeah, I know what you mean. I tried to convince myself that I didn't want to be with Jared, but it didn't work. Psst, Charlie. Lexi's not here yet, is he? No. Because I am so not ready to face him. I know I did a terrible thing. How am I going to explain to him why I lied to him about you being his father? Same way you're going to explain it to me. Listen to me. This isn't the time to make this decision. Not when you're freaking out because Charlie lied to you and Roxy lied to you and I lied to you. And I know how upset you are for Bo and his family. This isn't the time to end something that used to be so beautiful. You said it yourself. I know, I know, I started acting like a jealous, insecure maniac. That's not me. You never would have fallen in love with me if that's who 